वेलकम बैक चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू योर मॉड्यूल टू ऑफ टक्स पेंट सो नेक्स्ट टूल इज मैजिक टूल देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मैजिक टूल्स अवेलेबल एंड इट इज यूज टू गिव स्पेशल इफेक्ट टू ए पिक्चर यू कैन यूज दरो डाउन फॉर मोर मैजिक टूल्स ओके Listen, children. You can see the different type of brushes here. When you select the paint tool uh, on the selector, you can uh, see these type of brushes. Hmm. Next is stamp tool. These are the different varieties of stamp tool. You can use the at arrows um, on the bottom of that stamp to select the more categories. And the blue uh, bottom of the screen, you can see blue lines. That is our resize uh, tool. Now I'll show you how to draw a picture in Tux Paint using the tools and uh, the different effects. Okay, children. Now I'm using paint and line tool uh, to draw a mountain and a grass uh, and uh, a pond. Okay, so uh, for that uh, I'm uh, going to use. Um, First, I'm going to use line tool, okay? And I'm going to select a color that I want. If I use the line tool, you can see a plus sign. I'm going to drag it. Hmm? On the side, uh, you can select the uh, dot that you want, okay? Now I'm using paint tool and I'm drawing a mountain, okay? I'm drawing it. You can able to see how I am drawing a mountain. Okay, fine. Our mountain is ready. Now I am using magic tool. In that magic tool, you have an option fill. Okay, see I am using that arrows down. So here that blue sign that is fill, and I am going to select a color, and I am filling, clicking. So uh, our mountain. as in a colored manner now i'm using blue color for sky okay you just want to click it only click only uh, then that colors will come okay if there is any gap between lines then it won't spread okay it will spread all around so uh, while you are drawing just look on that also now i am using shape tool and i want to draw a pond mm. clicking and the same thing dragging okay mm -hmm. you can drag in any positions that you want and clicking in that center position okay yes mm -hmm. our pond is ready now i'm going to fill how you will fill yes you'll take the magic tool and we have the option fill in our selector and i'm going to select the color and clicking Yes, our pond is ready, but I don't want this color. I am changing the color. Yes, this is what it actually looks. So everything is ready: mountain, pond, grass, and sky. Okay. Dear children, we have studied how to use paint, line, and fill color tools. Now we are going to uh, see how to use stamp tool. Okay. I have drawn a picture already. Now I am adding stamp, that is photographs and cartoons, to my picture. For that, from toolbox, I have to select the stamp tool, and from the selector, there are different varieties of trees. Now I am selecting one and clicking. Okay, you can use that arrows for the different categories. Now I am selecting a small tree. Yes, I am clicking, resizing it, and I am clicking. Yes, to the place that I want. Okay, one, two. Yes. Hmm. Now I'm selecting a flower, and I'm resizing. Then I'm putting it in my tree. Okay, you can make it attractive. Hmm. Like this in any manner. Okay. Yes. Um. Okay. Now I'm. choosing the other categories by clicking on that arrows yes i got a sun here now i'm resizing it yes i'm clicking in the position that i want okay okay my dear children why you are using stamp tool you have to take care of or you have to look at these 
two buttons okay one is mirror button and the next one is vertical flip button okay mirror button mm, the icon of the mirror button is uh, this is our mirror buttons icon so what the mirror button will do it make a mirror image of any picture okay so whatever picture you are taking and if you are clicking on the mirror button you will get a mirror image okay the next one is vertical flip button okay you can also flip a picture vertically by using the vertical vertical flip button okay when you use a vertical flip button what will happen now if uh, take this pencil as an image okay mm? and you have uh, selected vertical flip button then what will happen to this pencil no it will turn into upside down okay in this format hmm? this is how your vertical uh, flip button works one more thing that you should take care while using stamp that is one is our resize button and the other is arrows okay resize button here that blue bar shows the size that we have selected okay if you select the smallest bar then your picture in the stamp that you have selected become in a smaller size when you select the biggest one your picture become in a biggest size and the arrows that is shown on the topmost position shows the categories if you click on it you can move to other category of stamps okay